Today we're going to discuss the assembly and troubleshooting the T1 pump. <clears throat> the T1 pump is almost exactly like the T2. Uh, from here down, the only thing different on the T2 pump, it's bigger. It has a different foot valve. This one here, the ball, the check ball, is held in by a pin. Where on the T2s and the T3s, it has a circ clip that holds it in. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the air motor part, the top part right here. There's three little rubber washers, and you'll see it. On some of the older ones, they have uh, plastic washers, and there's one in the middle. If these leak, you're gonna get air coming out right in these holes right here if one of those is bad, because it pressurizes this cylinder. Um, these are easy to replace. It floats, this is what kicks the machine, or the pump, up and down motion. This pump pumps both in and out. <clears throat> as it's sucking, as it goes up, it sucks through this foot valve. As it comes down, this valve closes, fluid comes up through here and goes to your machine. The shaft is held on to your piston by a pin. Uh, this is usually screwed right here. So we'll screw that in place. As this goes up, it hits the spring here that's on your cylinder. As it hits the spring, the spring actuates it. Instead of pressure being pushed this way, it's being pushed down. So it changes the motion of the spring, or the motion of the pump. This just screws on hand tight. This pump should be put together hand tight, except for one part, which is the bottom part. And that should be screwed down fairly tight. When you're putting this together, you wanna make sure there's a gasket right there. As you're tightening this, don't super tighten it, because what happens, that gasket rolls, and you'll have a leak and you'll have air coming out of here and along the seam right here you'll feel it so you just want to hand tighten it so it doesn't roll it there's also a gasket in here and there's a spring what happens when the pump comes down spring hits this pushes this up which makes it reverses the action of it this just slides on top of this and screws down watch it when you're rebuilding these pumps or putting it together try not to don't want to pinch this gasket right here because that's what seals the cylinder so it just slides down and you screw it in place on the opposite end <clears throat> this one right here there's two check valves you got a big one and a small one usually what happens if if you're pumping only on one side where it's just half pumping usually this ball has some uh, dirt in it or debris what happens, it holds it open. So the machine's sucking, but when it tries to compress it, it can't. So it'll give you a double stroke. When you put this on, pin goes in place, and you put Loctite on it. You don't want to drop this in a barrel, especially a closed cell barrel, because then you're gonna to have to fish it out. There's a little rubber gasket on the bottom. As you screw this tight, you don't want to pinch it. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Once you and then tighten it fairly tight, the Loctite will hold it in place. There's also a gasket here, and you got to do the same thing. This one goes over the actual piston assembly itself. To replace these on your gaskets, you pull this out, and it'll come out. You got these right here. All you do. Put a wrench here, loosen this up, these will come off and you can replace it. There's packing up in here. If you have to replace this packing, all you gotta do is unscrew this. This whole part will come out and you can work on the machine, work on the pump. Um, we highly recommend that you have a bung for your barrel. And then this is adjustable. And what that does is it lets you seat the correct distance off the bottom of the barrel when you're spraying. 
plus it maintains and holds the pump in place. These are adjustable for tightness. Just screw this little screw down, tightens it up. Pump has two holes. Okay, you'll see one here and one here. Uh, a lot of pumps, they'll have the uh, outlet come out of one and then they'll have the recircle line go in the other. There's an air valve that goes right in here that you can put in and you adjust it. Uh, there's a grounding strap that you can put on it if you want to. As you put this in here, you want to make sure it slides in place. And it'll, it'll slide fairly easy. And you'll hear it pop. And then all you do is you tighten this down. And again, we talked about the rubber, the rubber O-ring. As you're doing this, make sure you wanna make it tight, but you don't wanna cut that O-ring. It's gonna seat itself. And then you can see it seats itself inside. This pump here, the main problems uh, you may have is if you feel air leaking out of these holes right here, these three holes right here, it's in the air motor part. So you need to go up there and look at that. That's those three little O-rings in the big one. That's usually what causes air to leak out of those. All the, uh, you wanna hand tighten them. I see people get crazy with them uh, using pipe wrenches. You don't wanna do it because you're gonna pinch this O-ring and roll it. When you do that, then you gotta go back, loosen it up. You know, tighter's not always better. Um, the pump itself, the T1s, the T2s, they're almost exactly the same. They work on the same principle from here down. Here up, the air motor is a little bit bigger on the T2. On the T3, the T3, everything's the same from here down, but up here, it's the upgraded one. But this pump here, if you have an IPM pump, uh, Greco T1, um, they're all the same to work on. Um, if we unscrew this, like I said, you unscrew this, there's packing in there. If you ever have to rebuild it, all you do is when you pull it apart, lay your, lay the packing out, lay your Teflon gaskets out in order as you take them off the old one and install them in the same procedures, same sequence. The main thing is keep moisture out of these. Um, any moisture in here, it starts building up in here. The pump will start getting slow. Uh, if you pull this off, you got a bunch of black in there, clean it. Uh, if you're having problems where it sits here and it looks like it wants to go up, it's doing this. It's going da, 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 and finally it hits it. What's happening is the spring up here, you either got an air leak or the spring up here is worn to where it's not getting high enough to kick it back down.